Starting with the basketball court itself, you're going to take a cardboard box and cut it in half like this. So once you've cut it in half, you can undo these two flaps so that you've got like a bit that you can rest your hand on when you dunk your basketballs and you can cut these wing bits off so they fold back so they're not in the way. Then you can paint it or decorate it any way you choose. I'm going to stick with the traditional yellow basketball court. You can paint the outside and the inside parts, whatever colours you would like. So the first thing you're going to do is create your basketball hoop. So you're going to take a piece of toilet roll tube. You can make it as thick as you'd like. I recommend making it at least two to three centimetres thick. You're going to cut a section. You're going to take a lollipop stick. This is quite a thick one. It's called a tongue depressor. But you can take a normal sized lollipop stick, this is the only one I had left, and you're going to glue it onto your hoop like this, okay? So glue this together and then you can paint it any colour you'd like, I'm going to paint mine red. So here is my one painted. Once you've painted it, you're going to take your lollipop stick and your hoop that you made earlier and stick it into the centre of the long top edge of your box. And then, if you'd like, you can create a backboard, such as this one, which is just a white rectangle of cardboard. And that's what you'll have so far. I've kept this flat for something to rest my hand on, but you could cut it off if you don't, if your box doesn't have it, it doesn't matter. Okay? So now we're going to take a marker pen. I'm taking a black Sharpie, and I'm going to start to make the markings of my basketball court. I'm going to use a nice ruler to do this. I recommend you do the same. You want this to look nice and neat, so you're going to take your time. So the first marking I'm going to make is going to be a rectangle, which comes out from my basket point. Um, so I'm going to draw two straight lines running up to about halfway. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just like that, okay? Now about a centimetre's width from the edge of my uh, basketball court, I'm going to start to draw two lines, can you just see one line there, which is going to start to form the other markings, which is a semicircle, and that's going to give you your point lines and help you define how many points a basket is worth, okay? So you should start with four lines, just like this. Nothing fancy at the moment, okay? Now I'm going to start to draw some semicircle shapes and a circular shape in the centre of my court. So I'm going to grab something circular to draw around. You can use a glass, a cup, a mug, whatever you have that's close at hand. So I'm starting with the circle, which is going to be at the halfway point, right where my box ends, okay? So I'm going to draw a circle here. To make a halfway point. Then right down that edge where I'm going to place my hand to rest, I'm going to draw another black line to give me my black outlines for my centre marking point. Just like that. Okay? Beautiful. So, taking a red sharpie, I'm going to draw the circle, which is going to be the jump point, jump shot point. So I'm going to draw a circle right in the centre, and then I'm going to align it with those little black lines I drew earlier. Just like that. Okay. So again, you now want to draw a line down your semicircle, uh, down your circle to make it a semicircle, sorry. I don't know what I was thinking then, I just stopped talking straight away. Ah, just like that, okay? So the last line I drew was this blue one. Remember the two side lines that we drew? I connected it with a nice semicircle at the top of my red circle. 
I then went over my lines and made them nice and thick. And then on my backboard, I drew two triangles, so a black one and a red one. Now there's a couple of extra things you can do before you start playing with your miniature basketball court. I'm going to create a net for my uh, basket hoop. Um, and I'm also going to create a score keeper. So I'm going to show you how I do those next, but these are optional extras you can make if you want to. So to make my basketball hoop net, I took some of this material which actually came around my oranges. So I took this material off of my orange bag um, and I cut a triangle and glued or taped it into the inside of my hoop and then I just cut some triangles at the bottom so that my bouncy balls could fit straight through and fall in. Okay, so that's added extra. Again, this came off of my oranges. You'll probably get the orange variety, which would look really cool if you painted your stuff orange instead of red. I only had this black variety, but that's what you can use to create the netting really, really easily. So to make my scoring system, I'm taking an old um, folder, such as this one, one that has this ring binding in the middle. Um, and I'm going to create my own score system. So let's close that for a second. I'm going to take some sheets of paper. I'm going to take 10 sheets of paper. And I'm going to fold them in half, just like this. Just like that. I'm going to unfold it, place it against my ring binder, and make a couple of markings where my ring binder holes are. So I've got there, dead in the middle, and there. Okay? Now the one in the middle, don't worry about, because that's going to get cut off. I'm going to give the scissors. That's going to get cut off um, between the two pages. So what I would recommend you do is cut down the middle of your paper. If you need to do this in two sections, you can cut the, the pile of paper in half and do half in one go. Okay? So you'll have two pieces. Now you're going to get a hole punch and you're going to punch a hole right where you've made your marking so that you can pop it into your ring binder just like this, okay? So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back. So I've made my holes in my two halves of paper. You're gonna thread it through and close up your binder, just like that. Now on your piece of paper, you're going to write zero to nine. <laughs> I had to think then, zero to nine onto your paper. So we're gonna start zero on each, zero, zero. Big, big pen, so the thicker the pen, the better. I'm gonna get an even thicker pen. So, oh, so remember that you're making numbers from zero to nine on each of your piles to create your scoreboard. I've got one left, magic number nine. So that when you flip all the papers back, you're gonna start at zero, zero. And the most points you can score would be 99, okay? So there's my homemade scoreboard. Each time I score a point, maybe a one-pointer, a two-pointer, or a three-pointer, I have to tally up my scores like this, okay? A nice, simple way to make a homemade scoreboard. So, now that we've made our scoreboard, we've made our basketball court, you're ready to play. You can use bouncy balls. You could use rubber ball bands, anything that will fit within your hoop that gives a nice bounce. That would be really effective. So guys, that's how you make my miniature Olympic basketball court for your finger Olympics at home. So you can line up your shot from the center line, the three point line, the three throw line, dunk it into the hoop and make sure that you mark your scores using a homemade scoreboard such as this one. I hope you had fun making this craft with me. I'll see you next time. See ya, bye.